Welcome back to Do It At A Dime with Catherine. Today we are making 24 meals in one day for under $100. These are easy crowd pleasers. My kids and family love them. We are gonna have so much fun. Let's jump into it. This is how we keep our family recipes organized. These are all the favorites and all of these recipes have a story. I love how they're written in my family members' handwriting. These are crowd pleasers, especially if you have picky eaters. And I'm so grateful to say this video is sponsored by Walmart Plus. I use it to get fresh, high quality groceries delivered for free to my front porch. It's the same everyday low prices as in store. They have fresh and organic ingredients, no hidden fees. And I really love how fast I can place the order. I can do it in about 10 minutes and then it makes bulk cooking really easy and I have time for the things that actually matter. You can do what we did and visit walmartplus.com to start your free trial. I'm also gonna have all the ingredients for these recipes listed in the description box below to make your shopping trip really easy. I've got four awesome ones in store for you. I am cutting and prepping the ingredients and I'm just cooking up the basics, the pasta and all of the beans. What I really love about today's recipes is there's very little prep. All you have to do is bring pinto beans to a boil and then let's sit for an hour. That's it. Then we can dive right into this super easy spaghetti pie. This is famous on Charlie's side of the family. It's said that his dad married his mom because of this recipe. Guys, we're having spaghetti pie for dinner. Yay! Yes! I think the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but basically take one box of spaghetti and add some butter, and then whisk up four eggs and pour over top and add about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And don't you worry, I want this to be super easy for you guys. All of the proportions are linked in the description box below so you can just sit back and enjoy. I put these into two separate containers, and y'all, this stuff freezes so well. I take ground beef, green <laughs> onion, and regular onion, and you know, we make a little messes along the way. To this, you want to add two cans of chopped tomatoes, two cans of tomato paste puree, sugar, oregano, and garlic salt, and then mix together into warm and well combined. Whenever I'm bulk cooking like this and I have stuff everywhere, I just grab a garbage bag like this, put it on the side of a chair, makes cleanup a lot easier. And pro tip, did you know cleaning your oven when it's still a little warm helps get all of the stains off faster? Pro tip for you. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put one cup of cottage cheese per pie right on top of my noodles and then add my beef on top. This stuff freezes so well. You're gonna cook this at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and then the last five minutes top with mozzarella cheese. Thaw this out in your fridge before cooking if you decide to put it in your freezer. This pie is a Sneerly family favorite for a reason. Definitely let me know if you give it a try. My pinto beans are soaking here. This is gonna be the last recipe because these are gonna take a couple of hours. And while all this is finishing, we're gonna get started on these pork chops. So first, a quick story. Charlie and I actually met in preschool. This is the first picture of us ever together at a Thanksgiving feast. I'm on the right, he's on the left, and it's crazy to think about all the Thanksgivings we've spent together since and how different they look now. But the point is, we have always loved creating awesome marinades, whether it's for a turkey or a chicken or gathering around the table for something good. And the one I'm sharing today is for pork. It's mustard, red wine vinegar, vegetable oil, honey, oregano, and garlic. The awesome thing is you can take gallon Ziploc bags, mix all of this up together and pour over top. Stick it in your freezer and then when you're ready for dinner one night, just thaw it for 24 hours in the fridge. This is so delicious grilled and could not be easier. Plus it's affordable from Walmart. I love this macaroni salad that we got from the Walmart Plus delivery. They have such good sides that's perfect for those things you pull out of the freezer. This one is my favorite. You knew this one was coming, macaroni and cheese homemade. It is no secret that my kids are picky eaters. They do love fruit though, but the one staple over the years, the number one, has been macaroni and cheese. And it still is to this very day, especially for Carson. And making it is so good. Take butter and add a little bit of cornstarch. I use about a stick, and then I use about four cups of broth. Put this on your stovetop and whisk continually. Once it's well combined and bubbling, add four cups of heavy cream. This is a recipe I actually got from Happy Money Saver. 
and I love it so much because it makes such a big batch. Add your cheese right to this, and the trick is to cook your macaroni noodles for just about seven minutes, so they're a little underdone, because when you go to bake this in the oven, they're gonna cook a little more. Add to four different pans, pour your cheese mixture over top. I actually had shredded chicken this day, so I decided to add that to two of the dishes. Your kids will go gaga for this if they're anything like mine. You wanna bake this for 30 to 35 minutes at 375 degrees. This is the best food ever. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you probably won't have leftovers. This next recipe I shared on my channel eight years ago. Do you guys remember that? If you have been around for that long, Carson was so little. I make these recipes when I'm pregnant in bulk because that way I have food for when little baby arrives. It makes it so much easier. Oh my gosh, little Carson. But these are super fast bean burritos. Do you remember those pinto beans we had soaking at the beginning? Drain them out and add more water. Bring it to a boil and simmer for about two hours. This takes a little bit of time, but it is so worth it. And man, are these affordable. You want to cook up one bag of basmati rice, and now we're going to assemble burritos. Get tortillas, some onions, and some Tabasco sauce is optional. So quick tip, I used to work in a restaurant and the key to making sure that your wraps are folded is to not overstuff them. Don't put too much stuff in there and you'll fold them great every time. Here's how you do it. You fold your ends in, and then you're going to take one side while you're still holding those ends in and bring it over and you're gonna use your fingers and tuck it in on the bottom side and slowly roll it over till the fold is on the bottom and you have yourself a nice burrito. One. I put six in a gallon freezer bag and then I take that out and thaw it at the beginning of the week and you can combine this with anything. We just took all of the extras and put it in a bowl with the beans and rice. I can combine this with lettuce and it's gonna make a great lunch. Everything is so good with these burritos. Toppings, guacamole, pico de gallo, whatever you want. I truly hoped you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so thankful to Walmart Plus for sponsoring it. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out and start your free trial. If nobody has told you today, you are enough. I'll see you guys soon, bye. Whenever I'm bulk cooking like this and I have stuff everywhere, hold on copper. So I'm starting on number two, funny story. I used to work in a restaurant and the key, uh, it's not really that funny actually now that I'm saying it. <laughs> so the key, <laughs> well that's funny. <laughs>